service of CNC Worldwide. The CNC Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell. Your full AccuWeather forecast is always on top here on your CNC local page. The U.S. Attorney's Office has charged a Rochester man on tax evasion charges after he allegedly failed to claim millions of dollars in income. Prosecutors say 55-year-old Patrick Dandria failed to claim more than $5 million on his tax returns. They have charged him with two counts of filing false returns. Dandria allegedly made this money on a contract he got to clear away damaged trees after the 2006 snowstorm in Buffalo. If convicted, he could be looking at three years in prison and a $100,000 fine. In Canandaigua, a woman police say claimed to have breast cancer to solicit money from a sympathetic public has been indicted on 16 criminal counts by a grand jury. 30-year-old Melissa Jones was indicted on charges including grand larceny and criminal possession of a forged instrument. She entered a not guilty plea. Jones is accused of taking money raised on her behalf after she falsely claimed to need it for treatment. If found guilty, she could face 10 to 20 years behind bars. Rochester police say a 24-year-old city man was killed and his 22-year-old brother seriously wounded in a West Side shooting. Police were called to the corner of Jay and Saxton Streets Tuesday evening for a report of shots fired. They found the two victims in a vacant lot, the older man dead and the younger one shot in the back. He was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital in serious condition. Police believe they are looking for two suspects. They believe an argument following a dice game may have been what triggered the violence. A Fairport man is in Monroe County Jail pending a court appearance Friday after firing a gun at Village Police Officers Tuesday night. David Salmon is 47. He was arraigned in Village Court on charges of reckless endangerment, menacing a police officer, and criminal possession of a weapon. He's being held on $50,000 bail. Fairport police say officers went to Salmon's home for a mental health check after Salmon allegedly told his doctor he was planning to kill himself. Salmon fired several shots at the officers. They fired back. Nobody was hit. Salmon has a preliminary court appearance in Fairport Friday afternoon. Heavy thunderstorms missed most of the west side Tuesday, but they wrought havoc in power outages on the east side of Monroe County and out into the Finger Lakes. Seneca County was hardest hit. Officials there closed roads from afternoon into the evening on Tuesday. Seneca Falls Schools, Seneca County Head Start, and the New York Chiropractic College all had to be closed Wednesday because of storm damage and power outages. The New York 390 Expressway will be closed southbound from Ladder Road to Vintage Lane in Greece starting Friday, June 1st at 10 p.m. until Monday, June 4th at 5 in the morning. This is part of the ongoing project to maintain and fix up the road from the Lake Ontario State Parkway south to the ridge. All southbound traffic will be required to exit at Ladder Road the detours are up. Michael Ledbetter, a senior at Greece Athena, will sing before President Barack Obama, then perform at the Kennedy Center in Washington. Ledbetter has been chosen a presidential scholar in music theater, the only scholar in that category this year. He'll be receiving a medal and singing for President Obama June 16th. He'll perform two days later at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington. He's among 141 students named as 2012 U.S. Presidential Scholars for their achievements in academics or the arts. Twenty of them, including Ledbetter, were selected as Presidential Arts Scholars. He is the Rochester area's only 2012 Presidential Scholar and its only musical theater honoree since 1989. He plans to attend Carnegie Mellon next fall to study music theater. On this page, you can find links to these and other stories at the bottom, links for you. You can use them to post your own news updates, sports, and salutes directly to us. Next news as it happens, updates when necessary. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.